Well, good morning. <clears throat> so we are leaving the Quail Ridge RV Resort. Um, it was nice. It's a good um, stay here. Got a lot of videos processed. Making sure I didn't leave anything on the ground and it looks good. Yeah, this place is super cheap um, for a tent with electric. It was $12 a night. I paid like $25 um, for two nights. Super great deal. Um, I would definitely come back here again. And the bathrooms were nice. Clubhouse is nice. It's, um, it's a good place. And it was cold and windy last night. Actually, it wasn't as cold, but the wind. So it's right, well it's in Tombstone, or Tombstone, it's in Whetstone, which is 20 miles from Tombstone. But it is 8, 8.40 in the morning. Wow, so all they have here is a gas station, it looks like. <laughs> Jeez, Chevron. And a bunch of RV parks. How do you call that a town? <laughs> yeah, I think there's an Air Force base south of here, which I did not realize. I heard some jets. Not a lot, but a few. And I saw some military people leaving in the mornings to go work and they had their uniforms on that were living in the RV park but um, yeah I think we're gonna go to Tombstone and see the main street um, don't really plan on doing any touristy stuff it all costs money and everyone else has done it you know the gun show and the different bars. I don't really think it, it looks that neat, but um, at least want to see the main street and get some video. Uh, so we are in the Sonora Desert. Um, I didn't realize this desert goes all the way over into California and Lake, it covers Lake Havasu. I always thought that was the Mojave. The Mojave Desert is small. Um, it's like mainly I-10 north, possibly even I-15. No, I-10. Um, yeah, it's... Um, and we're at like almost 4,000 feet here, which I did not realize. That's why it was so cold, I think. Oh, here's another RV park. Or wait, maybe not. <laughs> All right, so I guess this is the town. I still don't see anything but houses. Um, no post office, no businesses, except RV related stuff. Here's a storage place. level. I think I got it. <laughs> Maybe. There. Oh, that was a good um, break. Oh, 65 now. Oh, Border Patrol. <laughs> I thought that was a copper for a second.
only drove 165 miles yesterday. Or not yesterday, two days ago. We still have um, three fourths of a tank of diesel left. And today we're going to Las Cruces, New Mexico. Um, so we won't have to get diesel today either. If I can hold off till Texas, it'll be a lot cheaper. We might be able to do that. I'm uploading a, I think a 10 gigabyte file, first one today. Um, hopefully it doesn't take too long. I'd like to get some of the smaller ones done. It's my first one for California though. Brookings to Crescent City. I didn't realize this tombstone area, it's really flat. Um, I thought it was like more mountainous with trees. Even the mountains that are here, they're not tall enough to have trees it looks like. They're pretty barren. <clears throat> Tempted to stay in uh, Las Cruces for two nights if, um, if they have event, if I can. And also, um, just to get some more videos done. So I've taken three rest days now. Um, I think this is day 14, which I can't even believe. It doesn't seem like it's, I've been gone for 14 days. I'm going to try and be on the road a lot though. Um, I think I've proven I can do this uh, cheaply and not blow our budget. Um, especially, um, not, you know, not driving so much. I definitely want to go up to uh, Montana sometime this spring, summer. I want to go to Yellowstone still in May. Um, we'll see if that works out. We have a trip to Idaho, so I don't know. Let's see if that works out. Right, kind of concerned about how much, if diesel gets more expensive, it's gonna start hurting. <laughs> Arizona. Wow, I just passed an RV park. Um, 
not good cell service. So it's fairly busy, but I wouldn't want to stay there. Wow, my file seven percent uploaded already. I can't believe it. down to Arizona and camp for free for months um, just go from BLM campground to BLM campground so we just entered the San Pedro riparian um, conservation area So I found out um, like 15 miles west of Whetstone, where I stayed in the RV park, there's a conservation area and you could boondock there for free. I thought you could because I saw a van, um, but then one of the guys at the campground actually told me that. So that would be pretty neat. Ah, this is the San Pedro River. Oh my gosh, there's a little bit of water. In it. Not a lot, but a little. Fairbank historic site to the left. I think it's a ghost town, maybe. Got a parking lot there and one car is there, but I didn't see anything else. Some trees. I love driving on these roads. I was tempted to take the back roads to Las Cruces, but I need to get this video uploaded. I don't know if I'll have cell service, even though I do now. I think I'll just go to the interstate after we see Tombstone.
gonna try and go to Canada actually this summer. Um, I have to. I have to. I have to. I haven't been to Canada and gosh, it's. I don't think since I got out of the Navy. Camp here, and there's a truck with a topper parked off the road back there. subscribers and then well by this summer sometime um I really want to start live streaming when I drive I'm up to 751 um so finally it's seeming closer um ah it's a tombstone library back there I wonder if you can go on horse rides. Ah, finally the border patrol checkpoint. I wondered where that was gonna be. But we actually are not going through it yet because we are going to Tombstone. It's open. I'm not really sure. Wow. I don't know what's on that truck, but it's big. So we have three miles to Tombstone. another RV park I could have stayed at. Um, huh, they have something called the Birdcage Theater. 
I'm not sure this one has any spots. It might have. Cell server, it has cell service here. So Tombstone is at 4,500 feet, wow. Founded 1879. can't believe we're so high up. Yeah, I think we'll just get some video of the main street and call it good. Um, don't really have any desire to go inside anything. Wow. So the high school or the school here is called the Tombstone Yellow Jackets. It's a giant building, big school. I like the yellow jacket they had painted on it. I don't think I've ever seen a yellow jacket mascot before. That's pretty neat. Wow, so the whole city is a registered National Historic Landmark. <laughs> Ah, Boot Hill Graveyard. That might be neat to see next next left. And Jewish Memorial. Huh. Oh my gosh, there's a family dollar in Tombstone. <laughs> Big Nose Gates, that's famous. I I should check out the dry camping lot. Um I want to see what it looks like. I might do that. Look at this dog crossing the road. <laughs> oh my gosh. Wow. It's a bigger town than I thought. That looks pretty neat. Nothing's really open yet. It's only 9 o'clock. I thought there was a visitor center, the sign said. Ah, well, it's Fargo RV Park. That looks like people just living there. Okay, oh, there's the OK Corral. So this is not the, the main street that the tourists, or that you can't drive on, it's to my right. We will go down as many streets as we can. Um, you know what, I need to end this and edit this video because um, we are inside Tombstone. I want to make just a Tombstone video.